Hey old chaps, how are we all doing today? Lovely day. Um, like I said, every day is a lovely day. Any day that we're alive is a lovely day. So it's uh, that time again. Yep, it's time to do another unboxing video. Uh, time to do a, an unboxing video because I've finished my last project and it's time to go on to another one. So this is the first in the series of uh, this kit. Um, I do the unboxing, then we'll do uh, I won't do a step by step build, I do a bit and I show you how far I've gotten so we do build updates and then we'll do the final reveal. And stay tuned on Mondays, don't forget to stay tuned on Mondays for uh, our bum, weekly bum, myself and the uh, the Abbey. Yes, we, uh, we, we, we invite Abbey in to help us with the bum. And uh, don't forget, if you like this video, don't forget to give it the old thumbs up, okay? It gives me an indication as to whether I'm doing a good job or not. I don't think I am. Anyway, here's the kit. Okay, it's from Academy. It's uh, an M one one three eight two. Um, it's from the early nineties. Yes, I think it was nineteen ninety three. This kit came out. It's in one thirty fifth scale, so it's about twenty five years old. And uh, we're going to get stuck into it, and we're going to have a look at what's in the box. I'm after taking everything out of its plastic so there's no time wasting there taking things out of opening plastic bags and things. So everything's ready to go. So we'll zoom down to the bench, we'll have a look, we'll take a quick look at the old box art as usual and then we'll get stuck in and see what you get. What you get, what's in the box. Let's crack the box open and see what you get. Okay, so let's get on to the bench, let's have a look at it. So, as you can see, it's a reasonably large box, okay? It's the uh, US M113A2 Armoured Personnel Carrier. It's got a fully detailed interior and engine compartment, optional position hatch and panel doors, and a optional position for crew figures, okay? It's from Academy. It's a static model, and it's 135th scale. And on the cover of the box, it gives us basically a picture a drawing of the uh, of, of of a mic 113 and then 113 on the side it gives us uh, pictures of one that was already been made up and it shows the uh, the engine compartment the interior okay very very nice and some of the storage that uh, comes in the kit as well okay the other side just gives us some uh, safety normal safety instructions and things like that and here it gives us uh, two of the versions that you can build up because it gives you like you can do a couple of different versions of it as in what's on the on the, the top deck um, you can have the a dragon anti-aircraft or a dragon anti-tank gun or ro missile gun cop on yourself John gives you a choice of a dragon anti-tank missile or 50 cals okay so without further ado let's open the box and let's have a look at what you get okay before i took it out of the bags i must admit it is quite stuffed okay there's there's quite a lot in there so we start off you get a one piece tub okay um to talk about in a second all right we got our one piece tub which is the uh, got the opening here at the rear the rear hatch entry um we got nice little cutouts there for all the placement of all the bits and pieces and some nice little bits of detail there along the side on the bottom then it gives us the it, it is uh academy kind of molded into it so if you want to remove that i'm sure you can Sort of scrape that off and send it off whatever you do okay so it's a basic quite basic it's the uh, the tub one piece which is handy because it keeps it nice and square you're not going to have that problem All right we got the uh, interior floor plate which has got some diamond plate there which is which is quite nice it's it's, it's nicely detailed okay it's quite textured so therefore it'll uh, it will take a wash and all that and it'll be quite nice um we've got placement then for our engine section there so everything's grand so far that sits in to that all right we'll have a look at the first of our sprues we'll start off with sprue e okay 
um, this is the piece that came out of sprue E which is the uh, floor panel okay that came out already um, we've got our engine um, a couple more engine bits and pieces I don't know what each piece is called so don't don't ask me <laughs> it's it's irrelevant as far as I'm concerned anyway because I mean once it all goes together it makes the engine compartment area okay it's the detail of what you know what, is it nicely detailed is it is, is it full of ejector pin marks is there loads of flesh which there isn't there isn't loads of flesh there aren't, are no major ejector pin marks not so far anyway there are a couple more when we get down into it as we see <coughs> excuse me and um, the detail is quite nice it is quite nice indeed okay so we're going to end up with a nice little uh, engine there with that our next sprue another sort of a grey blue sprue it's uh, sprue C okay um, in sprue C we've got our interior parts by the looks of it okay um, appears to be the, um, the fuel thing maybe I don't know I won't presume All right, we got some jerry cans anyway we've got uh, interior panels okay if so that'll be for sort of boxing off the uh, the driver the driver section and the um, the engine keeping him away from the engine We've got his con driver's control panel there. We've got some ammunition boxes. Um, these are the seats for the back. And we've got some other little panels and things. And we've got the uh, commander's seat, driver's seat. I think that seems to be quite nice. No problem so far. Um, we do have a couple of ejector pin marks here. So whether they're going to be seen or not, we don't know. If they got, if they're going to be seen, we're going to have to um, either send them off or fill them, whichever the case may be. Now these are these are indented, so they're going to have to be filled, and cleaned up. If if, of course, if they're going to be seen, we're going to have to do that to it. Okay, so it's very nice. We'll uh, have a look at the uh, instrument panel there, if we can. There we go. So it's not bad. It's uh, it's all there. All the detail is there, and quite nice indeed. Okay, so that's our second sprue. Our third sprue. Okay, we've got the uh, the main deck. We will call it the deck. It's the uh, the top the top section. Okay, that's for there. Um, seems quite nice. It does. We've got uh, our little ammo shields, or not ammo shields, but our protection shields there for the uh, the 50 cal. Like I said, if you have an option of two, whether you want to use the Dragon anti-aircraft or Dragon anti-tank gun or the uh, 50 cal, it's up to you, whichever one you put in. We've got some tools and we've got some very, very nice storage even though I'm not going to be using the storage because I'm going to do this up as a United Nations vehicle yes a UN one so it's going to be painted white with a big UN on the side of it okay so that is sprue D some nice detail loads of little bits and pieces that I don't know what they're called so it's pointless me telling you I'd only be telling you lies and you wouldn't like me to tell you some lies so you wouldn't okay a little bit of flash there on the uh, ammo box but nothing we can't scrape away but we do have some nice detail there, I must admit. Okay, so there we've got sprue D. It's our third sprue. Our fourth sprue. As you see, these are kind of a cream coloured and our interiors are a grey green. Or a grey blue, should I say. Right, on the our rear panel, rear hatch sections, you can have these big air filters or you can have... Um, just our storage on the back of it whichever one you want to use whichever version um, we've got another we've got one of the 50 cals there we've got parts of the uh, the dragon anti-tank missile <sighs> got that right 
and we've got the uh, figures, the three figures that come with it. Okay, so I presume one is a driver, and we've got commander and a crew member. I don't know what they're called, but we've got four faces, four heads. We got two heads and two faces. So whichever ones go, whichever way, and we have a choice of hats then for the chappies here. We've got uh, a helmet, a sort of a, a floppy hat, or a peaked 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 hat. We got some binoculars as well. Okay, we got some more storage pieces. Very nice indeed. Not not bad at all. Um, figures they're typical uh, sort of academy to me esque type figures. Not the greatest of detail, but not the worst either. I've seen better and I've seen worse. And these aren't uh, aren't too bad at all. They're not too bad at all. Some of the old seventies ones were a bit bad, all right. But these ones are not bad at all. They're not bad. Okay, that's screw number four. Screw five is our A screw. Okay, and this one then we've got our wheels. Okay, we've got all our wheels, our dry sprocket, our return rollers, our. That probably doesn't have return rollers, does it? We've got our dry sprocket, our wheels anyway, and our dry sprockets and our uh, idler wheels. Okay, now by the looks of this, it's got four um, drive sprockets, so it's given, probably going to give you a choice of drive sprockets. Um, we've got our suspension parts, nothing more I can really say about them, it's just the detail is actually not bad at all. Okay, it's there, some nice bolt detail that will take a, a wash and a bit of dry brushing and things on our wheels, as you can see. They are quite nice, quite nicely detailed. Okay, so that's our uh, our fifth sprue, and finally our sixth sprue. So it's got six sprues. On this sprue, we've got our uh, side skirts, one and two. We've got um, I don't know what this, but we got our rear door anyway. I know that much. Okay, our rear hatch with the door. We've got some other little panels and things probably for inside that again. Okay, so very nice. Like I said, I'm seeing no problems with them. We've got some nice little uh, Louvre details there on the uh, engine cover. We've got a bit of a uh, coiled up. Whatever we call it piled up wire rope <laughs> our tow cable okay and we've got our lights as well okay and the bulbs are uh, are in there so you don't have a separate glass piece for the bulbs okay don't know what these parts are called so it's pointless me telling you what they're called we do have a lot of ejector pin marks here though I must admit an awful lot of ejector pin marks so if you're going to have it displayed with the uh, with the hatches open and things, they'll definitely have to be uh, addressed. Most definitely, a bit of filling involved with those. Okay, so it's not too bad overall. It, overall, it's quite good. Um, it's a you know for 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 the age of it, twenty five year old kit. It's actually quite good indeed and uh, it's down to what you make of it then okay we get ourselves a clear sprue on this clear sprue we've got some um, we've got some bottles some large and some small bottles and we've got our this is our, our cop light thing for the top or uh, I don't know what they're called we just call them cop lights you know a dome light there with the uh, the flashy thing okay so there's our uh, our clear sprue we've got some poly caps where's the poly caps they were there why we got there's a sprue there somewhere with poly caps no, it's not there must have left it out Thanks going through this and taking everything out of its bag but we got so this poly caps as well for the wheels they're there somewhere we all seen poly caps okay uh, it's got rubber band tracks okay we got one together and um, that's just 
dry fit it isn't even it isn't even glued or you can't glue these ones anyway you've got to heat them in into place but uh, i'm looking for for the join and i can't find it oh there's the join but it went together and it stayed together even like that even dry fitted so we're not going to have problems with the tracks anyway that's for sure okay and we've got our decal sheet we'll have a look at the quick look at the decal sheet even though i'm not going to be using the decals well not all of them anyway there are some warning ones and things in danger ones which i will be using but i won't be using the rest like i said i'm doing it as a united nations vehicle so we're going to go un painted white with un on the side of it okay so there's our, uh, our the decals that come with the kit they're not bad they're all in register anyway and they're all uh, very very thin very very thin a little bit shiny but uh, not bad at all okay so there's our decals so finally let's have a look at the instruction manual now i'm not going to show you every you know what it is step by step what i'm looking for in the instruction manual one main thing is there too many steps in each section <coughs> excuse me in other words are they very very too busy okay that when instructions can be too bu very very busy they can be very off-putting and you can end up making silly little mistakes whereas if they give it you nice step by step uh, nice clear drawings of what the pieces are and where they go that's all I want that's all I care about really with instructions because that's all instructions are for okay this is a, a pull out type instruction nicely drawn not too many steps in each section which is good like I said that is what I look for okay uh, clearly marked clearly show you where each piece goes and how it goes okay as you see that piece comes up from the bottom and that is how it all fits together okay so that is our um, our step by step okay we saw so we start off with the interior the engine the interior section okay we carry on then more interior fitting our interior then we're on to the rear panel okay like i said it gives you a choice whether you want sort of jerry cans and uh protective covering or you want those big uh, air filter cleaner tickets okay then we're on to the rear section our uh, rear hatch fitting on our suspension the wheels the upper hull assembly okay our top deck is above it and then we're fitting our top deck onto it okay and then we've got our tracks all the little ancillary bits and pieces that go onto the top deck the hatch covers the choice of the dragon anti-tank missile which is there and we've got a choice of two uh, 50 cals on how we mount them okay so nice choices things. okay then we're on to the engine cover the radiator final assembly which is the uh, you know the armor protection pieces that uh, floating device which pushes out when it it's goes into amphibious mode so the water doesn't sort of just push straight over the top it kind of deflects the water I don't know what it's called actually probably is called a water deflector but it's on the front anyway okay um, tells us what's in the uh, accessory pack and then onto the figures and the painting of the figures like I said I'm doing it as a UN vehicle so they will have the uh, camouflaged uniforms but they will have blue helmets okay and then it gives a painting and decal guide then if you want to go by the um, do it as a US one okay so that's it that's the instructions quite simple um, it does give us a sprue map so we know what we have and like I said with the poly caps there as well must be there somewhere typically on me I put by the door I probably stand on them now in a second so that's the uh, unboxing lads um, don't forget to stay tuned to the channel and I will be doing um, updates as normal 
and I'll be doing the uh, final reveal then for a finish. So hopefully it won't take too long, but hopefully I guess uh, it'll take long enough that I, I, I get a week or two out of it. <laughs> <coughs> I have a habit of flying through kits. I'm flying through, a bit through them a little bit too fast lately. <laughs> Okay, so that's it, lads. I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to tune in on Mondays for the bum, myself and Abby. And uh, also stay tuned for updates, build updates on this beautiful kit here. Uh, just want to mention that this kit was a, a present to the channel from uh, Joe, Joe Bentley. That's Joe's Model Kits on YouTube. And... Uh, Thank you very, very much, Joe. I do appreciate it. And we'll get that built and we'll hopefully do a nice job for you. So, like I said, I'll catch you on the updates. I'll catch you on Monday for the bomb. So in the meantime, go out and buy yourself a kit. Build it and enjoy it. This is John signing off and saying have a nice rest of the week and have a nice weekend. And I'll catch you. I'll see you again on Monday. <laughs>